Hi everybody, we're back in the kitchen with Mr. Francis. So today we're going to be trying to make some vegan chocolate mousse. So to make the vegan chocolate mousse, we're going to use the liquid that's in the chickpea can. It's called aquafaba and some chocolate. Now I don't have any cooking chocolates. I'm going to use a leftover Easter egg. A full list of ingredients can be found in the description. For today, you'll need an electric whisk. I think a handheld is possible, but it will take a long time. Uh, a number of bowls and um, depending on how you're going to melt your chocolate, maybe a few other things, depending on if you're going to do it in the hob or in the microwave. So I've drained my chickpeas and kept the water and put the chickpeas back in the fridge for later. Now this is the aquifer, but it doesn't look like chocolate mousse at the moment. So let's move on. So I've got 146 grams of aquafaba. I'll need about half, a little bit more than half chocolate. So I'm going to use 80 grams of chocolate. So I wanted 80 grams, I've got 82, I'm happy with that. Put your aquafaba into a big uh, mixing bowl and whisk until it forms um, stiff peaks. Uh, should take 10 to 15 minutes apparently, let's have a go. So after two minutes of whisking it looks totally different but it's still a bit too soft and it doesn't form stiff peaks so we've still got a long way to go. Six minutes in. And we're definitely moving in the right direction, um, but we're not quite yet there yet, so let's carry on. They say one way to test whether it's done is if you can hold it over your head. So let's give this a go. <laughs> I didn't know if that's going to work. And remember, Stay hydrated. Once the chocolate has cooled a little bit, it is ready to be added to the aquafaba. I'm now going to try and fill these four glasses as equally as possible, as neat as possible. Let's see how it goes. So we've got uh, our chocolate mousse. I've seen a little trick on TV just to get a bit neater. You just shake it around a little bit. Everything kind of settles and it becomes flat. Not bad. Okay, in the fridge, we now need to wait three hours. What am I meant to do for three hours? Well, there's loads of things. You could start the washing up, you could read a book, you could practice your times tables. Three hours. A lot of people have asked me about my apron. Um, they think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's from a charity called The Bike Project that takes in unwanted bikes and gives them out to refugees and asylum seekers. I will put a link to their website in the description. Three hours later, whoa, they look good. It looks good. It smells good. And it tastes good. I mean, that didn't last long. Very pleased. Delicious. I think next time I might add a little bit of sugar just to make it a little bit sweeter. But absolutely fantastic. See you next time.